What's going on guys? Welcome back to another vlog. Um, today we are working on my buddy's BMW. Um, we're putting a new window regulator in the rear door glass. The window will roll up and down again. Um, we got him here, Jordan. And uh, this is his BMW 3 Series. Um, this is the new window regulator we're putting in it. Um, the old one just took a shit and it's not working. So I've got the door pretty much all apart right now. Getting ready to take, take the old regulator out. You see the cable's all fucked up so it doesn't work anymore. But I'm going to get this going. All right, so we got it all in. Um, works good. I did it a whole lot faster than I thought I was going to be able to. But um, right now I'm getting some of my glue real quick. Um, Zip Tack by Zap. And then the, the uh, Zap Super Glue. Medium CA Plus Glue. This uh, is insane and it works so good. So. Um, he has a couple clips on the door panel from whoever the previous owner had it and was taking and taking the door panel off, broke a bunch of the clips, so I'm gonna try and repair them for him and see if we can fix them. So these are those little clips right here. This clip, that clip, and that clip. This one is pretty much missing the whole underside of it. This one, the bottom part of the black plastic here is broken off, and then this one is okay, but it was really loose. And this is the where the trim panel, um, trim panel goes on for where the, the mount screws are and so this whole panel was hanging off. So it's all back together. Everything's all good. Woo! Now the window works. Perfect. Now it's complete. Dark window tent. Uh, next on this, um, I think I'm gonna try and get the speakers ran. I just gotta wait, wait for my my wire to come in. But put my speakers in there, and I got my my box all designed up and everything. I gotta just get that done. And then I have a piece of uh, Kydex coming for my dash bezel piece that I have in the garage over there that I've been working on. Yeah, this thing right there. The, uh, I got this. These little mounting tabs mounted on there. Oh, focus. Focus. There you go. These little mounting tabs mounted on there, both sides. I gotta get some epoxy to, to back it so it stays good. And then I have that Kydex on the way so that I can make a trim panel for it. And then my voltmeter will go in there. And I think I'm gonna, gonna do a switch for my radiator fan in there. And I'm not sure what else, but. I ordered some 80 mil Kydex, same stuff used for like gun holsters and stuff like that. Um, it's really good, nice and stiff, and uh, it's easy to work with, so uh, we'll get that done. So I've had a couple issues with water leaking into <coughs> the passenger side of the car. If you look, this hole goes right down in, into the car here because the uh, blower motor and everything for the AC is pulled out. And this plug just covers up and clicks on right there. Well, what the guy had did was stuff it full of bags, which I don't know why he did that, but it doesn't seal, obviously. So water leaks in through here, water leaks in through here, then gets in there, it leaks onto the floor, which is a pain in the butt. Um, so I gotta figure out a way to seal it off. I'm gonna glue that plastic piece at the top with a windshield urethane to seal it, but I'm gonna have to come up in here if you can see, you see that hole right there? I'm gonna have to seal that somehow. So I gotta figure out a way to seal that off so no more water gets in there so I don't, so I can stop getting water on the floorboard. That'd be nice. All right, so this is the little trim panel I built real quick, um, just to, to go up under, underneath the dash. And I just used some of the windshield urethane that I use um, at work and it works really darn good. So we're gonna get this up in there and get it sealed. All right, it's a little dark in there, it's hard to see, but that's the little trim panel that I did to block off so now no rainwater will come in and uh, yeah, seal it off. And so now I got this outside trim panel glued in there too. I just got it wet to help the glue skin over faster so it'll be dry. But that's done, the in inside one's done as well so I should not no longer get any water in there. And then I gotta get a pricing on a body shop to fix this guy here. Cause that leaks as well, the gasket doesn't touch down in there and so it leaks the water a little bit and it pools up here behind the seat. That's not too bad. 
Then we got Rory here. And I'm gonna build a sub box for his truck right here um, in between the seat and the center console here, right there on the floor piece. For single 12, um, so you can have all of his storage underneath the seats still. And uh, obviously he never has a bunch of people back here, and then at least in the middle seat, so we're not worried about the middle seat. And then he never puts this up, so we're not worried about that either. But get this box built for him. And uh, he's got a bunch of stuff here. A nice Rockford amp, wire kit, dash kit. Um, I have the deck and everything upstairs for him. And then I have the sub in the garage there. Um, we're gonna put, be putting that shallow Rockford P312 in there. But get this install done in this truck for him. Uh, we'll probably be, I'll be, be building the box next week though, so. But as far as stuff goes with this, um, I still need to get a new header for it because it leaks really bad and I can't fix it. Um, I gotta get the reverse light um, switch for it um, so that I have reverse lights again and then finish up um, that piece right there. Once my Kydex comes in today, I'll be able to get that. So I gotta go run up front though. Oh, so now I'm heading up front to the front office because I have to um, get paperwork to sign another year lease on our apartment because we're gonna stay here for one more year before we try and buy a house. Um, so I'm heading up there right now to do that. So I'll catch you guys in a second. So we got, um, we, what I've told the front office, um, so they know that we want to sign another lease here. Um, they're gonna write the paperwork for us so we can get that done. Um, my Kydex still hasn't shown up yet, so I haven't haven't touched the the car anymore. I'm just uh, watching the office chillaxing. Puppy's causing mischief in her cage. Um, she got in trouble, so she's stuck in there, and I'm gonna feed her here in a second. So, other than that, um, I got the rest of my trigger parts in for my for my polymer 80 lower frame. So that's all put together and that's done. I'm gonna leave the OEM trigger um, because uh, I'm not necessarily worried about an aftermarket trigger on it. But it should uh, it's bottom end's pretty much done for Roy's truck. I got this is his deck up here, but I got the wiring harness built. So this is the jumper harness from the radio to the, his, to his truck, ground wire. That's uh, two separate plugs. So I have that all done for him. It's all wrapped in Tesla tape. Super nice. I love this tape. It works super good. But um, that's done for him. Um, I gotta finish drawing up his box and everything. And uh, starting to edit some video. But um, other than that. Yeah. For the system in my car, I'm just waiting on a couple more things to come in. I ordered some. Um, zero gauge uh, to four gauge reducers because the amp that I'm using is a four gauge amp and um, the wire I'm going to use is, is zero gauge just because I have so much of it I'm, I'm not going to order any more um, I'd rather supply have a bigger wire to supply more power in case it's needed uh, but other than that uh, I have speaker wire on its way I have the reducers on its way and that's pretty much the only thing that that's left that I need to get everything together so once those things come in I'm going to build my sub box next weekend along with Rory's sub box next weekend so those will be done I'll get those mounted and get it mounted in the vehicle and get um, I, I don't know if I'm going to paint it yet or wrap it in a carpet I'm probably just going to paint it I'll router all the edges paint it real nice and then uh, make it easy to do it like that but um, as far as the system goes it'll be done probably within one to two more weeks it'll be completely done and all back together so we'll have some videos for you on that too so that's gonna end it out for us today guys um got a bunch done um got that regulator figured out i uh, got the measurements done for rory's box um i fixed the leaky parts of the um, under cowl on the crx um i'm gonna do some drawings here for um rory's sub box i got my drawing done just a quick little sketch up of the sub box i'm, I'm building a little cut sheet, quick drops. I know um, about how I want to set it up. I'm going to do sub behind the driver's side and then the port as far to the passenger side as I can, but it still has to still has to go underneath the strut bar. So we'll see how that works. I may have to take the strut bar off to get the port to fit, but not too bad. Um, but other than that, I'm just chilling inside now, watching the puppy. She's eating right now, so she's not out. But um, to the end for today, guys, thank you for watching again. If you like this video, awesome. Hit me with a like. If you don't like it, hey, that's fine too. Hit me with a dislike. Tell me what I can do better to make these videos better for you guys. But once again, subscribe. Hit that bell notification button so you know when my next videos come out. We'll see you in the next one. And if you guys have not seen The Office, this is by far my favorite show 
of all time. I think this is like the third time I'm watching it. In